wise person once said, what surprises me most about humankind is that we get bored of our childhood, rush to grow up, and long to be children again, that we lose our health to make money, and then lose our money to restore our health, that by thinking anxiously about the future, we forget the present such that we live in neither the present nor the future, that we live as if we were never going to die, and die as though we never lived. This poignant quote reflects the bittersweet essence of human existence, capturing the emotional paradoxes that we often experience throughout our lives touches upon several profound aspects of the human condition. And I'll do my best to explain it with the emotional death it deserves. What surprises me most about humankind is that we get bored of our childhood, rush to grow up, and long to be children again. In our youthful innocence, we yearn to escape the limitations of childhood eager to embrace the freedoms and responsibilities of adulthood. However, in our relentless pursuit of maturity, we often overlook the beauty of simplicity and the unburdened joy of being the child. The emotional message here is one of nostalgia for a time when life was less complicated. We long to recapture the pure and carefree moments of our youth, that we lose our health to make money, and then lose our money to restore our health. In a race for financial security, we sometimes neglect our own well-being. We work tirelessly, sacrificing sleep, neglecting our physical and emotional health, believing that wealth will secure our happiness. But as time passes, we realize that all the riches in the world cannot buy back our health. This part of the quote evokes a sense of regret and a painful realization that our priorities may have been misplaced. That by thinking anxiously about the future, we forget the present such that we live in neither the present nor the future. Our minds are often consumed by anxiety about what tomorrow may bring. We obsess over future plans, striving for a brighter tomorrow. But in doing so, we inadvertently let the present slip through our fingers. This evokes a sense of disconnection as we are neither fully immersed in the current moment nor genuinely prepared for the future. That we live as if we were never going to die. We die as though we never lived. In our pursuit of immortality through our legacy, we sometimes forget the inevitable of our own mortality. We push death the far corners of our minds and live as though we have an eternity ahead. Then, when we face the end, we may realize that we've missed out on truly living our lives, on embracing the richness of our experiences. This part of the quote carries a heavy emotional weight, reminding us of the impermanence of life, the need to appreciate every moment. In essence, this wise observation reminds us to find balance in our lives, to cherish the present moment, to nurture our well-being, and to be mindful of the passage of time. It encourages us to embrace the emotional complexities 
of our existence, to live fully in each moment, and to find meaning not just in our future goals, but in the here and now, with heartfelt gratitude and appreciation, your companion on this journey.